Six things single older women wish men knew. You've heard it in the movies, guys. Women are enigmas. They are mysteries that can never be solved. Men can never, ever possibly understand women at all. And that is nonsense, pure and simple. Yes, women and men are completely wired differently and don't have the same thought processes. But when it comes down to it, most well-adjusted women and men all want the very same thing. And that is to be loved, to be respected, and of course, to be happy. Hi, my name is Melissa Santos with BeyondAges.com, and today we're going to be focusing on the six big things single older women wish men knew about them. So if you're one of those guys whose dad told him that he'd never understand women, so I try, this video is for you. Get ready to hear six of the biggest myths about older women and why they are so, so wrong. But first, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate it when you do, and it helps us make more videos like this for you. You can also check out our site, beyondages.com, where you can get lots of useful advice on dating and relationships. Myth one, hot older women won't date average men. This is one of the biggest myths out there. It is also completely inaccurate. Many men assume because a woman is super hot that she'll only date a certain type of guy, either a man as hot as she is or a man who's very successful or has a lot of money. Hot women want the same things that most other women want. They want a confident man who they can have fun with, someone who they can talk to for hours on end, someone they can trust, someone who cares about them. You don't have to look like a GQ model or have a high profile job in order to offer a woman those things. In fact, a lot of older women aren't impressed by looks and money because they've probably dated guys with all of that before. Now, with that being said, being an average guy is only going to get you so far to boost your confidence and create a healthy, successful mindset when it comes to dating women we have something that might help. A video course that can improve your dating life. Click the link above to learn more. Take the course and if you see a beautiful woman you like, you won't be afraid to approach her. Myth two, all good looking women are arrogant and bitchy. When a man sees a beautiful older woman, he'll often make the decision not to approach her because he is assuming she'll be bitchy or she might be stuck up. She probably thinks she's way too good for all the younger guys who are into her. You know the kind. The type of woman who will laugh at men or insult them if they have their nerve to try to talk to her. But nine times out of 10, guys, nothing could be further from the truth. Just because a woman is drop dead gorgeous doesn't mean she isn't friendly and approachable. In fact, all too often, the hottest women are left dateless while the cute girl next door types or the more average looking women are snapped up and taken. And it's all because men lack the confidence to do more than just stand there and stare at them. Remember, beautiful women, especially the ones over 35, are viewed as intimidating and unapproachable by men. So if you actually have the guts to approach a woman who is really hot, she'll appreciate your confidence. Trust me. While we can't guarantee every beautiful woman is going to say yes if you ask her out, we can tell you most of them will still appreciate the gesture and at the very, very least respond politely. So next time you see a hot woman that you want to meet, don't let insecurity or pessimism hold you back. You could be missing out on someone who's really, really great. If you're still struggling to get the confidence to approach women, you should consider online dating. There are a couple of great sites and apps for meeting older women that make it very easy to connect. Check out the link above if you want to see our recommendations. 
Because remember, sending a first message is a lot easier than walking up and starting a conversation. Myth three, women prefer wealthy men. Many men assume that just because you're not pulling in a ton of money, 200K a year, women are less likely to be attracted to them. This is another complete fallacy. What is far more important to women who are especially 35 and up is a man who is confident, has strength of character, and is stable, and of course, dependable. In other words, she wants a man she can count on. Wealthy men can't always give women that because the demands of their jobs interfere with the relationship and no woman wants to feel that a man's job is more important to him than she is. So don't let your bank account stand between you and a relationship with a woman, even if she is successful herself. The qualities that money can't buy are far more important to women than if he has a big house or if he has a fancy car. Myth four, women always go for the same type of man. While a woman may have a certain type of man her eyes are drawn to, that doesn't mean she'll only date men who are like that. For instance, a woman may find tall, muscular men attractive, but that doesn't mean she'll date any guy who looks like that. In fact, most women will date any man with game. Men often mistake having game with pickup lines, though. So having game, however, is all about being confident in yourself as well as comfortable in her presence. You don't have to be the funniest guy in the room or even the best looking. It is all about making eye contact in a natural way and being at ease with her and yourself. In other words, all a man needs to attract a woman is the ability to approach her with confidence and engage and, of course, keep her interest. Those are the type of men women are looking for, regardless of looks, bank accounts, or success. So forget about that man that she was oogling or what her last boyfriend was like. None of that matters. Show her you've got game and you're well on your way to being with her. Myth five. Women expect guys to agree with them. Many men believe that they have to agree with everything a woman says if they want to sleep with her. And this is total nonsense. When you agree with everything she says, you're concealing who you really are. Your identity, your opinions, and everything that makes you interesting as a human being. Super agreeable guys, by the way, also known as nice guys, always get put into the friend zone. So stop agreeing with women just to be agreeable. It's okay to agree with her when you genuinely feel the same as she does. But older women also like a little bit of challenge and the occasional debate. So speak up. The key to being successful with any woman is not liking all of the same things. It's about finding an emotional connection. If you can talk about your passions, your goals, and your beliefs, that will forge a much stronger connection than agreeing on trivial things. Myth six, women expect commitment right away. If you approach a woman with the expectation that she's going to want a relationship right away, you may just ruin any chance you have of ever being with her at all. Just because a woman is no longer in her 20s doesn't mean she's desperate to be in a committed relationship. In fact, a lot of women in their mid-30s, 40s, and early 50s have children from previous marriages or a relationship, and their primary focus is on them, their children, at least initially. Most women with kids aren't willing to rush into another commitment because they want to get to know the guy they're, they're seeing before introducing him to her kids. If you approach a woman with the goal of making her your girlfriend, that probably isn't going to fly. See, not only because she is cautious about introducing men to her kids, but also because she doesn't want to be your quick fix to fill a void in your life. She wants you to be with her because you have an emotional and a physical connection to her, not because you're lonely or want a pillow pal. 
With these six major truths in mind, you'll be far better equipped to meet, attract, and every kind of woman, even sophisticated women and more mature women that aren't easily impressed. If you found our advice helpful, please subscribe to our channel and check out beyondages.com for more proven advice on dating, love, and relationships. Thank you. Until next time.